some question. Yes. Then I'm talking about this that is in my packet. I'm trying to see what I can. Yeah, we're going to hit that. Yeah, we still have a lot of stuff here. Yeah. Oh. I, just, I just want to give everybody a chance to uh, voice their concerns and if they want to go home, give them a the chance. Uh, does anybody have a citizen's concern? Please, please come up, state your name, your address, and address the council, please. <coughs> Thank you for your service. You're welcome. <coughs> My name is Ralph Romero, and I live at 305 Northeast uh, Street. Uh, I send you an email, and I did get a response, but I like to work it out in person. The situation we got, uh, my neighbor Tom Pritchard is also part of uh, what we're suffering over there. That the culvert has built itself up throughout the years with uh, dirt to a, to a situation that, that the water is not flowing. And the culvert belongs to, you know, it's the right of way. Uh, from the letter I got back as an answer from your office is that. Uh, you know, the county's responsible. The situation I got, or we have, is that like the last uh, rainstorm we got was three and a half inches according to my gauge. The water is flooding our backyard. See, the water stayed in the culvert, and I mean, it overflowed, and it went in the street. You know, I keep my mouth shut. But my backyard and his backyard right now, they're flooding. And this is three, four days after the rain. And then the rain previous to that flooded the backyard. And uh, it brings a lot of problems, a lot of rodents. Uh, you know, I've seen snakes and all kind of stuff. And don't because of the water, and they've been run out of uh, the logs uh, next door to me that it's uh, fatal. And all our water is just sitting there right now, sitting there and talking about the mosquito problems and all that. That's a, and mosquito problem in our backyard because the water is sitting there. We call the uh, county tomorrow and let them know. I did come down and I looked at it and we have a problem there. Um, that is the county's public. Jeff, did you uh, go down and see? Which one is that? On the baby drive? I, I think, yeah, I think yeah. it was Bob that I sent down. It's on, uh, it's right off of uh, uh, we're right here. We went to East Street, right, which is actually so. 176 going to Stateville. Right towards Stateville. The culvert on the side of the road, it's 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 flooded and it's and it's the county culvert. Um, we'll call the county. The county of the ground was just too wet. They could not get the equipment in there until it dried up some, or because they're just going to have a mess and just all okay. Of I, I actually saw the county now doing some color work, so let's just give a call. Uh, we'll just keep reminding them. Right. I, I understand your, you know, what you're going through. I, I was actually gritting my teeth when the rain was coming down because I was actually thinking about your problem because I, I didn't drive out there. And there's more, there's more problems than just the colors. Um, we have that whole wetland back there that is just backed up. There's just no place for the water to go, and it's real. It's a real struggle for us because we don't own the property or we don't have a right of way into that property. Um, some of the some of the uh, landowners have let us go on the property. We identified some problems, but it's not the main problem. You know, we're going to destroy some beaver dams. But those little buggers are very, very, very. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thank you. They, like the next day, boom, it's up. So I talked to some county people about that, and there's some pipes that we can maybe put in those dams and. But uh, we'll get the county call tomorrow. Don't give up on them. Uh, this is just a really unfortunate situation with all this water. Uh, hopefully, some of it will be drying out with this warm weather we're having. But we will call the county tomorrow, and I, and I do appreciate you bringing that for us. Thank you, sir. Thank you for all your time. Thank you. So, I have a question. Is the water coming on the video, Mr. Pritchett? I know he's got snakes, and one of them on your porch might have gotten in. Um, is it coming from 376 into their yard, or is it coming in from the other? I, I think it's coming from both areas. I think he's, he's, he's right in the middle. And yeah. so it's his land sitting lower than the ditch off of 376. Is that what it is? And, well, that ditch is not, uh, that ditch was filled. Oh, the ditch was overrun. Okay. So they're, they're not being, they're having cleaned out. And um, 
I think when they get into those ditches, um, they'll probably clear out a lot of debris, but I don't know for sure what's gonna happen with that water. Uh, it's just so, so much of it. But we will definitely get them down there and see what we can do. There's a, uh, I think I'm not mistaken, that thing floats down in there, crosses under. Towards the Coggins? Towards the Coggins, and there's a whole, almost like a canal in there that goes back behind the Coggins. Yeah, it does, it does. And um, it's just so, so much water. I mean, it's just uh, overwhelming. I sure hope we have a dry summer, because you know, mm -hmm. we need to dry out some. It's, it's, just for my information, and I'm certainly not suggesting that we do it, because I'm not an engineer and I don't know, but I feel it and I, I'm concerned for you as well, and I know everybody else is, but is it, is, would it be feasible if we had a firm that separated the city from the other property that would keep that water from coming in? And on? Not just Mr. Romero and Mr. Pritchard's property, but all of those people who are complaining to us now. Would a firm stop it, or would, would we have a legal right to do something like that? We don't have a legal right, but we could, well, what we do have a legal right to do is condemn the property that we would want to build a firm on, and we would have to pay fair market value because we would have to. Am I, am I speaking out of term on that? Um, if it was detrimental to the uh, to the city, we'd have to um, basically do that by the property. But if all of the residents were willing to give a piece of their property to build a barn on, could we do that? I don't, I don't know how big a barn, how, somebody else wants to tell me how big a barn, how wide a barn would be. Is that six foot, is that four foot, is that ten foot, what is it that would help this group? I mean, if I moved there and I was under water, I'd give you some land to build a barn. Let me tell you the, 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 what I see as the problem with the barn. Build the berm. There's nowhere for the water that comes in behind the berm to go, mm -hmm. so that could actually cause a flooding problem in itself. I'm, I'm not an engineer, but I know every time you do something, something else rears its ugly head. And like when we try to correct some, some problems ourselves, it's always something else. The reaction is an equal opposite reaction. So uh, have to be really careful about that. I will talk to uh, some of the county engineers about that. Not that idea with the berms. I mean, that was something we did. But unfortunately, where all that water sits, we don't have any right away to it. And I, I hate to slam past councils, but when a lot of that development came in, there really should have been a city right away put into those developments so we could access those lands and address those problems. And they just weren't. They just they just weren't. They were just developed. The city had no no way to get in, and we have no way. Unless they invite us in, we are trespassing, and we can be you know, uh, taken to court. So uh, it's an unfortunate situation. But like I said, uh, don't give up on us. We're gonna we're gonna call them, and we're gonna uh, see what we can do. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. I did ride by the uh, ditch, the drainage pipe. He goes under all the way down back into that wetland. And the water was not flowing today. So I took that to mean that it's not going to be additional in there now. So right. maybe but it was not to receive a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it was just flat. It wasn't the impact of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Anybody else with a citizen's concern? Please come forward, state your name and your address, please.